We are back on CarX Drift Racing Online and the new update was recently released and we're going to try out the new free cars that are implemented into the game with the DLC. We are in the Asura GXR. Now this thing I believe is a GR86 and this is an awesome car. I haven't changed too much to this car. There is barely any tuning done to it but I am using the ultimate tuning setup to get that extra angle and this thing handles great. We are also on the new map Castle Summer Road. Now this this thing is actually pretty cool. It's nothing crazy. It is just a reskin and we have no snow, but it is quite nice to run it without the snow. Now we have two other cars we need to try. We got the Zismo Z4, which I believe is the Nissan Z. And we've got the Loki 4 GT, which I believe is the new M4. I've put a wide body kit on this and done a tiny amount of modification, hardly any tuning to this car. We're going to see how this runs. Now, right now, I'm not going to lie. This thing feels absolutely clean. The gearing is pretty decent on it, considering I haven't changed any of the gears either. And I'm really, really impressed with this car so far. I actually really like the new M4 style too. That looks great. And I kind of like it in this drifting game. I haven't actually seen any of the brand new M4s as drift cars, especially in like a Formula Drift kind of thing. So it is quite nice to have it. Already, I feel like this might actually be my favorite new car out of all of the updates so far. I mean, it handles so well for just like a hardly modified tuned car. I've changed very slight adjustments on it. And maybe I changed the max steering angle so I can get a bit more out of it and i changed i think the adhesion as well but apart from that this thing has been really really good it handles super well i haven't changed any of the power either so the power is doing very good for a stock car this thing is probably not even running that much horsepower i can imagine around the 500 mark i can't actually remember off the top of my head what am4 runs i'm gonna say around that 500 mark and this thing is shredding i mean i would definitely recommend giving this brand new m4 a go if you have the dlc i actually really like the paint work of this m4 as well i didn't actually change it so when you have have this car from stock you also get this paintwork now if you actually seen the, the real m4 in real life you will also know that they have this really nice green color and it looks super good i've only ever seen one i think in real life with the brand new m4s and they look super clean in this color and i'm not gonna lie this handles so well especially on cami road cami road is an awesome map and this car adds to it very very well i'm really interested to see what kind of tunes people come up with, with this car because i've hardly tuned it and this thing handles so well so i can only imagine Imagine what kind of tunes people are going to make with this car and it should be insane. Time to try out the Nissan Z and we're going to use the special livery. I believe all of the free new DLC cars actually have their own liveries too. Some sort of drift livery like we've got on this car here. This Nissan Z looks super clean. Oh, we've got a guy off-roading over there. How strange. Yes, I am online now as well. Let's try and jump into this train. There's two guys driving ahead here. I'm going to try and jump in with these guys and catch up with them. Already I've noticed that there is a load of smoke and I believe when I updated my game there must have been some sort of update that changed the settings of my smoke density so i can't actually see particularly well so trying to time them with these guys and guess where his door is is what i'm currently doing although this is going quite well i mean i haven't done anything to this z either i think i changed a few things gave it that ultimate drift tune and yeah it handles super good the developers at carx are obviously getting better and better at implementing these cars and making them just generally better and better because i feel like the more newer cars come out the better and better kind of tune wise they are i don't really have to do much to these cars now just to get like a lot out of them you can generally hardly tune a car and you can do really well there is an r8 in front of us but i kind of want to get past him and try and catch up with the guy in front i'm going to try and wait for an opening and slide past him unless he can catch up with the guy in front and we get like a nice smooth tandem oh we got a guy coming the other way i didn't even know i thought it was going to crash because of the smoke let's try and cut ahead here we're going straight past that guy now we're going to try and catch up the r8 is now on my door so he wasn't actually on the guy in front but now he's got up to my door i don't know if i'll be able to catch up with that guy ahead he's pretty rapid oh well me and the r8 have kind of swapped positions i kind of overtook him and now i'm the leader so maybe i can lead and he can chase and then we can get some nice tandems oh that was quite nice he needs to uh kind of reel it in on the door let's see if we can slow down oh i've slowed down a bit too much there for him we are basically back at the start anyway let's see if we can follow this guy hopefully he goes around the gas station no he's kind of in it i'm gonna try and hold it round and let's see if that r8 will follow us i don't think he has though i don't see him oh wait have we got the new cars yes we do boys we've got the new cars here and they are looking so so sick these are the liveries that i was on about we've got the asura the m4 and we got the nissan z i don't know why i said the asura it's a gr86